Welcome to another Guide You Outdoors video. Join us as we lay out three Pelican cases of camera gear that we use to film these videos. We want to show you what it takes to get all of this experience on film. It takes a little bit of gear. So Austin, tell me a little bit about what you got in your cases here. All right, I've got a PX100 by JVC. Uh, great little camera, great zoom, dual microphone. It's been through the ringer. Got some cracks in the LCD back here. Uh, fun in the swamp. Um, good, pretty reliable. good cameras normally take a beating, so you want something that's pretty rugged, and that's held up well. Yeah, yeah. And then of course the GoPro been through a two and a three that stopped working. The four's been working great though. Uh, you know, great shots with these all around, for yeah. sure. The GoPro really is a, is a key kind of device. It's waterproof. It's small. It's portable. It can have its problems, it can glitch on you, but you get so many cool shots that it's really a nice camera to have for these types of adventures and to document them. Right, they make great accessories like the dog harness, which you love in our videos with all the dogs in them. So next is our favorite um, new toy. This is the DJI Spark. A nice little small <laughs> drone. Um, it's been blown around a little out on the large uh, lakes, but it's easy to control and has a gimbal on the front. Great little thing. Now, Ozzy, a lot of people say a drone out here on a trip 10 days out, your biggest problem is charging, right? Like keeping batteries. Are we able to fly this when we want to? Oh yeah, we, we've been full the whole time. Um, what our rig is, we've had a Venture 30 that we've been charging off these Goal Zero um, solar panels. I've got the old model. and the new model, you can daisy chain together. Yeah. And that's what I've been doing daisy chaining them to the Venture 30, charging the drone directly off of that. Um, it also has a controller right here that's easy to set up and your phone is the oh, LCD. You brought a phone out. It's the only thing we use a phone for out here on it's a trip. It's for the LCD of the drone so I can see the camera, what's going on. Uh, it's an app, you log in, you hit go fly and I've been charging that off these little battery cells when that gets low. The battery on the remote has been great hasn't lost any bars yet. For each camera, I have the charger and four batteries. Now let's check out Scotty's setup. So simple setup, not a ton of things. Uh, GoPro, once again, I, I carved the selfie stick and then got a gorilla neck on it. Get all sorts of crazy angles. Like that seems to be a really nice, fun setup. Uh, solar panels to charge, lots of attachments for the GoPro, lots of batteries. So I got like three GoPro batteries, three batteries for my big guy, tons of memory cards so I can just shoot as much footage as I possibly want. I have way more space than I need, uh, which is really nice. And then I'm shooting this whole film for you right now on my Nikon DS, uh, DSLR, right? Yeah, 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 that's what it is. It's a nice camera. Uh, also got a good mic for it. That helps windy days, get a sock on your microphone. Uh, you probably hear a little wind in some of our shots. But this is what it takes right here, three Pelican cases. Yes, it's a bit of gear to carry out here and take care of and maintain, but I think it's worth it because what we get to do now is share this whole experience with you. And this is what it takes to do that. Great. I hope this was helpful to see what we use to film our videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.